Anyway, so. Alright, welcome to Luna. Game 2 of our second semi-final. Spawning in the bottom left corner. Your Terran player, he is down a 1. It's Krisky. And in the upper right hand corner. Angry Arthur, brother of Furious Frederick. Looking to take the next game, win it 2-0. He is currently up one game. He is Angry Arthur, Angry Arthur playing the Protoss race. We need pissed off Patrick. <laughs> yeah. Those beautiful, beautiful psionic aliens. The best race. The dirt, the dirtiest race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the no skill race. Yep. It's all about Terran, baby. Terran all the way. Can I Why get do you Terran hype in the chat? Did please? you actually? Did you actually know that the reason that the, the protests have so many uh, <laughs> cyber implants is because they are literally the dirtiest race? Because like there was this <laughs> micro infestation that claimed ire, and so they had to like make all these extra parts for their bodies because they were all falling off and stuff. Wow. Seriously. Yep. That's some deep Dirt lore. Yep. Dirtiest race. <laughs> Scientifically speaking. Yeah, of course. I play Protoss because they are the dirtiest race. <laughs> if you guys if you guys want to complain, that's just because you're not smart enough to play Protoss. So no, I play Protoss because they're badass telepathic space warriors with energy blade you know, lightsaber swords, and it's awesome. And carriers. Mostly, mostly because so of carriers. in the chat thought I was drinking from a shot glass. But it was actually my cough syrup medicine. Aw. <laughs> so funny. You're like, you wish, right? Yeah, Man, I wish. wish I was... Born's ah. like, I wish I could get drunk. I've been studying all night and coughing and Man. wheezing. Ugh. Ah. Rough go. Alright. Nothing too strange yet. Arthur, sadly, once again, not going to be able to get into that Terran base. It's walled off. It's feeling... Feeling awful, awful sad. Going to be crying probe tears. Look at that stupid probe. Doesn't even know how to get in. Right. Uh, if, if I could just uh, mention something about what the Terran is doing, I actually, I feel like making the factory behind where the probe could get vision of it is actually a little bit better. Because first of all, you don't know if he's making the factory first or maybe a uh, command center, right? So you have to take different, uh, you have to take different paths into, into account when you're, when you're doing uh, your own counter build. You know what I mean? So I feel like maybe hiding that factory would be beneficial for the Terran player. So you're saying hiding it would be good? Okay. Yeah. yeah I, you, sorry. I think you said it all backward really the first time. <laughs> I could have just yeah, said yeah. that right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tend to agree. Uh, you know, it is nice you can get that factory onto that tech lab immediately for the little switcheroo. So, yeah, you know, you I, could definitely see why why he's doing it that way. But, um, I, I you know, keeping like things secret is always nice in StarCraft. Yeah, I feel like the benefit you gain from getting the tech lab quicker doesn't really amount to that much, though. Like really? really, what? Yeah, what does having an what does having an extra siege tank out like that mean if you don't have Marines to back it up? True. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have a gas to be getting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and especially going for that orbital command, getting that tank first. It's gonna be a long time before siege tech comes out as well. Yeah. So, um, you know, by the time he does get tech, and siege tech, it's gonna have quite a few tanks. We do see the robotics facility once again coming up for Arthur off of one base so not proxying this time though and it is spotted so Krisky sees it and Arthur's gonna know that Krisky has seen it so we'll see what he decides to do with that he's gonna continue to go for the Reavers and just say I don't care if you saw it I'm gonna go for it anyway prepare your butthole or or if he's gonna gonna transition just get some observers out and try to go for a macro game well actually it, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, have to be Reavers because he, you, you'll notice he is getting the the oh. range upgrade. It could just be an, uh, a robotics facility into observer. Yeah. Into 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 uh, into an expansion. Which looks like it might be the case actually. Because that's one of the cool things about about um, playing uh, Protoss in this matchup is that you could have an idea in your head of what you want to be doing, right? Because he very well very well may have wanted to make that reaver, but now that it got it got scanned, mm -hmm. he could think to himself, "All right, the Terran player thinks I'm going to go for a reaver now. I'm just going to go ahead and throw an expansion instead." Yep. And so use the intel against the Terran player. Oh man, Christy's got a missed rally point. Oh, we just fixed it. Christy so scans again, actually. Does see the observatory. Doesn't see a robotics bay. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't a robotics bay. He doesn't know that there isn't one. But, you know, he wow. did see that, that observatory there. So, an unfortunate supply block here for Arthur. Oh, Not a so terrible one, though. I was going to ask. Um, so, if you're a Terran player going for an FD build, and in case you guys are wondering, FD build is, um, you, move, you push out with one siege tank. Uh, Marines and a few vultures with spider mine research. 
Um, so for an FD build, would you actually skip the Orbital Command Center, or would you actually go for it? Oh man, I don't know. It, it's I, I can't say I can't say one way or the other. And I guess it just depends on you know the, the series and, and who you're playing and what you think about. But I I really feel like skipping the Marines at the beginning of the game kind of uh, limits the options you can do. I mean, like for this in particular, like yeah, he has the siege tanks out. But like we saw in the last game, it's actually extremely weak against Reaver play. And I feel like even this game, too, if he would have went Reavers, I think he could have done a lot of damage. Oh, and we have a missed rally point. Look at look at the main base of Chrissy, please, real quick. Yeah. That's, that's like yeah, that's like six, worker, six workers that aren't mining at all. That's, that's a pretty big deal. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, no. Yep. They're just piling up there. Oh, oh there okay, he's found it. Now, he hasn't changed his rally point yet, though. So, unfortunately, as they build, they're still going to be just chilling back there. Hey, he just wants to play Brood War. You know what I mean? He's just trying to get <laughs> that Brood War mentality. Yeah. <laughs> we do see one Goliath did come out from Krisky, so he, he was worried about that coming out. But, uh, you know, he didn't overinvest in them, so it's a good job. Not overreacting. And we do see Arthur is going ahead and get, he's getting his third up. Oh, no! Relatively quickly. Tank. Great snipe. Arthur really capitalizing on that bad station placement. Oh yeah, he's actually doing a great job at just kind of picking apart right now. It's good. If you scooch that back, you can probably pick off that supply depot too. Might get a couple oh, SMB kills. Oh, get nice SMB kills. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh, the siege tank is going to kill the siege dragoon. Oh, he's got back up. All right, so now what we have going on right here, and I'm going to speak from my own experience playing against Krisky, is that his, uh, his, his, his pushes off of two base are, are are very strong because his macro is very uh, he's a very good macro player when it comes to situations like this. Now his supply is about even to the Protoss, and I would say that that more favors the Terran in this type of situation. Mm -hmm. uh, he did go ahead and throw down his third. I'm talking about the Protoss player now, uh, so it's kind of gonna. Oh no! Oh, oh those mine hits! Oh, base. three dragoons going down. He's got oh, more God. mines in the main in the main base. No observer here. Ooh. Another hit. Oh no! Oh! Ooh, that was close. All right, he will clean it up, but he did manage to lose quite a few dragoons there, and uh, did lose three probes as well. So Krisky's now killed four total probes. So nice little move from Krisky. Uh, vultures super cheap. He doesn't care about losing those four vultures. They got plenty of damage done for their value. Oh, definitely. And and the thing is, even if they don't necessarily uh, get the mine hits off that they want, even if they don't. The, the fact of the matter that you go into the main base of the protest player and you just rattle their cage a little bit, right? Like you pick off some units and then all of a sudden the, the protest player is like, oh, wait a second, there's mines all over here now and I got to watch out for those. And it really throws off like what the protest player was trying to do. Like it might make him uh, forget to throw down a tech building possibly. And so that has ramifications throughout the rest of the game. Yep, no, I can definitely attest to that. Uh, just little attacks here, you know, little vulture run bys, drops, anything like that that you can just do to throw off your opponent can definitely uh, set, them be set them behind, especially if they're not ready for it or they feel threatened. Uh, I love how Arthur is getting quite a few observers, place them around the map. Uh, I'd love to see one at the front, though, so that he could see if there was a push coming. He's got them more on his side of the map, which, you know, is good, but... You want to know as soon as possible if a Terran push is going to start coming out, leaking through that natural because those things are scary. So since uh, since Krisky has completely forgone the uh, two base timing attack and he's going for a third base, uh, what do you think is his follow up plan? You know, going from from here on out. I would say, as we can see, he already threw down a couple of factories in preparation for for getting this expansion down. I would say he's going to throw probably like three more down. In, in, in short succession, maybe get a second armory up because he's going to want to get double upgrades going on. And then uh, as well, he's going to uh, want to get the science vessels for a eventual... Wait, do we have a drop in the main base or those just run No, just a run by. Yep, just, just a run, run by. by. Threw down a couple mines and uh, managed to get a few probes here. So, yeah. Okay. It's been a couple more. Good. Two more probes. Three. And... Up. Oh, so close. Final count. Oh. Nine SCVs killed so far in this game. I mean, nine probes. Five SCVs. Uh, so. but, but once the Terran gets the third gas, that's when you can really have a little bit more freedom with what you're doing in the game. Uh, he's probably going to want to add on some science vessels for some nice EMP action, and uh, also, of course, uh, defense matrix. Now, we do have, if you look at the Protoss main base, the Stargate down, 
Now, whether it's going to be Arbiters or Carriers is still up for debate, but it looks like it's going to be more of an Arbiter route this time with the throwdown of the Templar Archives. Yep. A bit of an oversaturation here in the gas and the natural for Arthur, and uh, hasn't taken the third gas yet, and probably want to start doing that here relatively soon. Those Arbiters and all that tech is pretty gas-heavy. gas, gas heavy. Um, pretty, pretty gassy. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. I like being gassy. <laughs> We see actually uh, Arthur out trying to clean up some mines. He's got to be oh. careful though. Ooh, a hit goes off. This observer not doing a very good job. Another one here. And uh, more vultures laying mines. Just great play here from Chrissy. It's so important to be out on the map, active with those vultures, laying mines all over the place, just being a nuisance. Oh, those siege tanks are really bunched up together. Yeah, they yeah. are. But Goliath, multiple turrets there. Should be relatively safe. Yeah. Uh, Arthur might be able to get one zealot dropped on there, which would still do a lot of damage, but um, he would he would lose quite a bit that prism and the three other zealots. So I think Arthur should really go ahead and try to get a fourth face now. Yeah. And this oh, is the time he, he really does, pylon, does need one, which could be used for warp if you you know. But he can't warp in dragoons, but he could warp in zealots. Um, or he can also use the pylon to use the safeguard ability, which is basically an ability that you cast on a pylon and the pylon. You can then recharge a uh, Protoss unit's shields. So a lot like the shield battery from Brewborn. Yep, it's very, very cool. We don't see enough of it. I personally always forget about it. So, but it's a very neat ability. Yeah, um, real quick, we did have a question in chat. Uh, it, uh, someone asked how strong are tanks in uh, Starbo? And if you were to compare them with tanks in StarCraft II, um, they make StarCraft II tanks look absolutely silly. Uh, in, in Starbo and as well as in Brewborn, uh, siege tanks are, if you go mech at least, which is pretty standard, they are the staple unit of your army. And they can trade very well with, with gateway arm, armies as well. Yeah, they're quite good. They are quite good. All right, so we still don't see a fourth down from the Protoss player. And this is actually a little bit concerning uh, at this point. Um, may, maybe he's thinking he doesn't want to spread himself out too thin and give the Terran player an excuse to push out. And he thinks that maybe this uh, this arbiter timing he's he's about to hit will will be enough to kind of sway the the tide in his favor. Yeah, but he's going to have a very difficult time getting arbiters in in a good position. Uh, Chrissy has turreted up his third. He's got turrets in the natural. Uh, he might be able to get past the natural, but uh, I don't know. And there's even turrets across the front, which is really important. Oftentimes, the gap between the natural and the third is a good area to try to get in and try to get into the main. Um, but Chrissy, for the most part. Doing a really good job with the turret placement, and yeah, Arthur really needs another base because as Protoss, you want to be a base up, uh, because your army generally is not going to be as cost efficient. Those tanks are so cost efficient, they do so much damage. Vultures cost basically nothing, yeah. um, and Protoss, their units a lot more, a lot more expensive. We do see the recalls now on the way. He does already have stasis field for his arbiters. Um, he's only building one at a time. No, no, he does have two star gates. Yeah. My he, bad. Was, he has he two. Was, he's got yeah. one on the way now, though. He was building two at a time for a second. Well, we, we have the uh, science vessel out on the field now, too. And it, uh, the, the reason science vessels are out, is the defense matrix is good, right? It's all right. But he's really going to want to be utilizing this energy more for using uh, EMP shockwaves, mm -hmm. a.k.a. EMP, so he can uh, drain the energy of the of the arbiters. Because if you get a hit on those arbiters, it takes a really long time to get that energy back up. And it, it allows the terror player to have a lot more... Uh, a uh, window of uh, opportunity to attack. Now we have some uh, a, a little bit of engagement up here in the uh, in the northern side. We got some classic dragoon versus Mul vulture micro, and it looks like a couple mines did uh, go ahead and uh, explode on those dragons. So vultures come out on top. Yep. You know, I do want to ask something really quick from the Terran perspective. But if you look at Krisky's uh, third base and his, his natural as well, he's got some really good defense set up, and at the same time, his plus two is almost complete. So I think when those plus two upgrades are actually done. Oh, actually, the attack is almost done. But I think when that plus two attack is done, he's probably going to make a good push. And yeah. uh, it's really going to come up, to, come down to the, uh, the Arbiters really land the right stasis. And um, I think he might have seen like Recall is going to be an option. Yeah, if, I think he might have heard you too, because right when he said that, he unseized those tanks and started moving them up. Or maybe I just predicted because I'm so good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, could do that too. <laughs> uh oh. And this is it. Arthur needs to rejoin all his forces, which he is doing right now. He's got to bring the Arbiters. He's got three Arbiters. And how many stasis? Oh, four. Wait, three Arbiters? Yeah, three, four, three uh, Arbiters. These, these science vessels, though, with the yeah, EMP, oh, those Arbiters huge. are very stacked up right now, all yeah. on top of each oh, other. Do not oh, my God, it's going to be so long! Oh, he's going for it, but no! Ooh, does not get the EMP off. 
That was a little cat and mouse. Here's right where there. the dance happens. I'm gonna zoom out here for everybody so they can see what's happening here. Oh, who actually stays is one of them after it gets an EMP off, but now that science vessel enough. doesn't have enough for EMP. He will have enough soon. Oh, he's going for the drop on top of the zealots, on top of the siege tanks. Oh, he's not dropping. He's going for it. Oh, 100 energy oh, on the science vessel. He's gonna get a huge EMP. Oh, oh huge oh. EMP. Got oh, energy. so important. <laughs> I think that saved him the game right there. I think he might have lost wow. if he would have gotten those force fields, or I mean the uh, stasis off. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And you know, if you look at those siege tanks, he actually got a six throw on top of about six or five, five of those siege tanks. Yeah, that, so that was a very nice crucial. storm drop in the middle of that. Yeah. It's amazing how a, how a Templar could drop down and man <laughs> in the middle of a fight and manage to get a storm off. <laughs> but yeah, that 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 EMP yeah. was absolutely crucial. And this and this is where. Uh, Arthur, he's really, if he's not going to expand, which it looks like he's gonna, okay, he's going to expand right now, he's gonna be in a really go for broke situation because it's gonna be really hard for him to, to trade effectively with these Terran forces, especially now with no stasis fields. I don't know, I think this is a mistake. There's oh, too many tanks right? here, he's gotta back up. The zealots are blocked off though. Oh no. I don't know, he might oh, break wait. through that zealots. Oh, oh, oh my god. Enough. Holy tamole ravioli, look at all the well death. Done. There were not enough vultures with that to clean up those those uh those zealots. Yeah. Zealots managed and to stay Arthur alive long enough to get to the back line of tanks. Gotta clean up that one command center down the in the six o'clock position. I don't oh, but there's should, just he's, he's pushing. there's not enough mech at the front. Oh no, no, no! I, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay. Or is it? And Arthur at the same time securing a fort base. Wow. Christy, trying to support a siege tank with, with any SCVs. Not gonna be good enough. Cough drops in my mouth. <laughs> Swirling that everywhere. Triggers. Oh, Lightning the power of Protoss. <laughs> okay, he's gonna back up here. Uh, yeah. Not enough. Uh, not enough macro. Not enough vultures here. Not a Krisky. Yeah, now we just have the the full rally over to the over the Terran base. Now, oh, look, we do have oh. actually warp gates in the Protoss base. And so that might yeah. be one of the reasons why he was able to reinforce so quickly. Big stasis feel Ooh, going nice off. Stasis. On yeah, he is warping in from this pylon over here in front of his third there, so... Oh, he's warping in zealots! He's warping in! Yep, that's he a lot of zealots in. too. That's probably enough to end the game, honestly. That is so many zealots. Oh my god, that reinforcement. So clutch. And just Shh. right in time before the stasis actually runs out. So smart, wow. so good. Really nicely done. Oh, D Matrix goes down. Not gonna be enough though. Wait, who won the first game? <clears throat> Arthur did. Oh yeah. It's with right. the uh, the Reavers. So Arthur's looking at the 2-0. Yeah. Nice. He might not have got a 2-0 in the last series, but he's looking for one now. Over a really good Terran player. So who says you need to be a base up on the Terran? What? Just be awesome like Arthur. You don't That's need Arbiter's, to be. Man. Arbiter's great. That's some manly Mantos attacks. Kinda like Reach, where he goes on stays on two base and just Kills the Terran. But yeah, it looks like you know it's not looking good for uh for Christy here. I don't I don't think he can come back. Yeah, he's down by a lot right now. And he's down to 25 SCVs. Uh We're lost in all that kerfuffle was how many SCVs got killed here right at the front trying to repair some tanks. You know, actually, you know, I I take that back. I think Christy's still in this. Because here's the thing, he's got the fort base, he's, he's got a planetary fortress, he can easily main art some SCVs over there. And if you look at the mine for Arthur, he's only on two bases. Yeah, he has yeah. to be able to deal with. He can't. He can't have another stasis or a big recall. Or the arbiters have to be neutralized. And what uh, does he have? Science vessels. He has two science vessels on the field. So if he can get a, an EMP off, he could stabilize long enough to stay alive and get back in this. But he's got to survive the next attack. We see oh, another big round of warp ins yeah. of zealots here for but Arthur. Also, a big vulture attack going up to the north side. Ooh, and very nice. There's only one cannon nice. there. He's going to get so many probes. But Arthur's just gonna go for it. He says, fine, your vultures aren't here. Well, I'm going to attack then. A lot of mines here. Pulls the Zelts back. Gonna let the Dragoons oh. deal with the mines. That's not enough siege tanks, though. He needs more siege tanks. He needs more everything. Oh, poor siege tanks. They're going down. All right, he's gonna fall back here on the main base. He's, see if he can do one last stronghold up here. But the, the, the protest forces are, are relentless, pushing up into the main base. Many dragons, many zealots. Science vessel EMP, EMP, EMP. Then he's got a D matrix. Oh, okay. At the same time, the planetary fortress is going down to one single DT, and that's it. That's hey, it. Oh, right. DT. oh, oh, it lives. It lives. <laughs> that's amazing. 
But uh, real quick, for those of you who aren't uh, aware, uh, Planetary Fortress is in Starbo. They have a cooldown, right? And when you click it, they only last for a certain certain length of time, and then they go inactive again for maybe around a minute or so. But uh, as of right now, the main base of the Terran is uh, pretty much uh, kaput. There's not much going on here. Uh, Protoss is up by 100 supply, and I think the writing might be on the walls for our Terran player here. Yeah. Now, Arthur is only mining off of four mineral patches right now, but he will soon transfer over. Uh, he has 32 minerals. <laughs> Uh, but Chris K just doesn't have any production left. Uh, he, you know, he's only mining on one base himself. And uh, he's got three factories, soon to be two factories, because this one's going to burn down. You know, I really got a hand to Arthur for really playing ahead uh, and, and really warping all his warp gates and just warping in a ton of zealots at the right time. That was just really smart. And, yeah. and we don't see a lot of warp gate usage either. Yeah, the, the reinforcements really were a big deal there, having all those zealots coming in. Uh, made a tremendous difference. I mean, and that's it. that amount of time that takes him Arthur to get across the map. Congratulations to Arthur. He will be going on to our finals. Everybody get hyped for the finals. Best of five. If you're not excited oh, yet, you're going to get excited to play Spear. Oh my god. Is it going to so, be another TZ?